member of SPECTA, SPECTA, Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge, Extortion. Fleming wrote a really great biography of Ernst Stavro Blofeld, who was the, the man who founded SPECTA. It's certainly in Thunderball as a novel, the first appearance of it, and its origins lie in the fake intelligence networks that he set up during the Second World War. He originally was using Smirsch as the major organisation, and then it, it got switched to Spectre. Old oh, man. Is that what you chaps and Smirsch call each other? Smirsch. Of course. Spectre. Smirsch was uh, the Russian uh, counter-spy network that really existed. That really existed. He devised Spectre in Thunderball, and I think the original plan was to make Thunderball as the first Bond movie, and then that got shelved because of legal problems, and therefore Dr. No came. And they inserted Spectre as the sponsors of Dr. No. In the filmmaking process, he was working for Spectre, the four great cornerstones of power, headed by the greatest brains in the world because the East and the West had turned down his technical expertise. Now they can both pay for their mistake. So they added a later thing from the Fleming chronology. That's the first film in which Spectre was mentioned. Then in From Russia With Love... We actually start with Spectre. We have the Spectre mansion and Sean Connery being killed by a man garroted with a watch wire. Exactly. One minute, 52 seconds. That's excellent. Rosa Klebb is entrusted to have Bond killed by Red Grant whilst also obtaining the Lecter cipher machine from the Russians, Soviets, yes. and then sh they intend to sell it back to the Soviets. The plot has a thing where a beautiful girl working at the Russian embassy in Istanbul doesn't know that Rosa Klebb has gone over to Spectre, and she is instructed to seduce Bond. You look surprised. I thought you were expecting me. And then they film them. It's going to be a double suicide or something. And yeah, I mean, they're, they're basically Spectre are wiping out Bond in revenge for what he did to Dr. No. And in that film, From Russia With Love, you meet Kronstein, the chess expert, and you see the hands of Ernst Stavro Blofeld stroking a white pussycat. The chess expert is the Spectre strategist. Kronstein, you are sure this plan is foolproof? Yes, it is. Because I have anticipated every possible variation of counter move. That's the first time you see Spectre quite well. Spectre are not connected with Goldfinger, or no, nobody knows whether they're connected with Goldfinger. That may yet be uncovered. But Thunderball involves another high up Spectre agent called Emilio Largo. And yes, you see Spectre have a board meeting at their sort of secret offices that are behind a Parisian organisation, a charity devoted to the welfare of misplaced people, which is a nice touch. And Largo steals two nuclear warheads and demands 100 million as a ransom. Two atomic bombs, which were aboard NATO Flight 759, are now in the possession of Spectre. Unless within the next seven days your government pays to us 100 million pounds sterling, we shall destroy a major city in England or the United States of America. And Bond manages to kill him in the end and his henchmen in an amazing unbelievable fight. Then we go to You Only Live Twice. And that is where Blofeld, in the film, is capturing rockets and selling nuclear superiority to the superpowers. Whoever is the highest bidder will be the winner. In that, you actually meet Blofeld. James Bond, allow me to introduce myself. I am Ernst Stavro Blofeld. And he is living in a hollowed out volcano. I shall look forward personally to exterminating you, Mr. Bond. Bond destroys his plan and 
Hans Blofeld escapes. On Her Majesty's Secret Service is the next film. Where I'm not sure Spectre are actually mentioned, but certainly it's about Blofeld. He wants his titles to be recognized. Good evening, Sir Hillary. Good evening. Baron of the Tsar, Count de Blochard. If you'll forgive me, that's what I'm here to find out. Mm. To confirm, Sir Hillary, there can be no doubt of the truth. Please sit down. And he wants clemency for all the bad things he's done. He comes across him running a clinic for allergies up in the Swiss Alps. I've devised a cure for allergies, which depends on holding an unusual and rather delicate psychological balance. And he's plotting to destroy the crops and agriculture of England through germ warfare. Infertility, total infertility in plants and animals, not just disease in a few herbs, Mr. Bond, or the loss of a single crop, but the destruction of a whole strain forever. Then I think the last film that Spectre appear in is Diamonds Are Forever. Diamonds are forever. The film begins with Bond, who's lost his wife Tracy, who's been murdered by Blofeld at the end of On a Majesty's Secret Service. <laughs> Bond, played by Sean Connery now, is chasing down Blofeld. He's desperate to find him. He does find him and he's having plastic surgery. I want the operation done tonight. And Bond kills Blofeld at the start of the movie. But it then turns out that he only killed one of his many doubles. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Blofeld. Good evening, 007. Double jeopardy, Mr. Bond. You killed my only other double, I'm afraid. After his death, volunteers were understandably rather scarce. And he has taken the stolen the identity of a reclusive Las Vegas billionaire, Willard White. Willard White speaking. Well, that's a neat trick. And he is now a, a secretive millionaire building a laser diamond satellite in space. A vast supply of diamonds being manipulated by an expert in light retraction. So Spectre have been there longer than we think, and it's a very, very sinister organisation. I do so enjoy our little visits, Mr Bond. However potentially painful they may be. But I'm afraid this one has come to an end. Good night, Mr. Bond.